distinguished members of the Founders Fund Committee and everyone. Uh, welcome to our presentation. Before I begin, I want to first extend my heartfelt thank you for each and every one of the organizers for me today. I really appreciate it. So my name is Alfred Martinez and today I'm really excited to present you my future's work. We are fine blockchain based system for Angolan elections under the supervision of supervisor Jock Victoria. So without further hesitation, let's proceed by looking at today's agenda. First of all, I will bring up to speed by explaining you uh, or giving you a quick introduction and motivation. Then I will move to problem and software solutions. Later on, architecture, technology, test phase, some interesting aspects of my thesis, <coughs> conclusion, future work, and then I will wrap up with a demo presentation. Well, uh, I built this project thinking on my country's situation. In 2022, uh, there was some problems during the election process which I really uh, didn't like and included I couldn't vote. Uh, another motivation is that I was looking for a challenge. I wanted to do 80% of PS program and also a sort of motivation to become a blockchain developer. And lastly, I wanted to create a project uh, to represent my country since I'm a scholarship holder and my embassy is supporting me throughout these years. So, uh, the problem I already stated, and during that election uh, in 2022, there, there was a lot of miscalculations and no coverage. That's why I, I couldn't vote, because uh, it was only inside the country. And also, after it's done, it takes about 15 days to publish the announcements, the announcements of the results, which is a lot. And also, when they publish this, it's inconsistent of the results, and it causes dissatisfaction and negative allegations from, from the citizens. So to solve that, I created this uh, project using blockchain to enforce the public trust and confidence in the demo democratic process. And also this blockchain, as we already know, it contains immutable uh, historical re records, which means uh, all the trans transactions, they are connected and if you try to attempt someone will, will detect, or my, the system will, will, will detect. This is the architecture of the, of the project. Basically, we have here a set of blocks, block one, block two, and block three. It contains a header and then a body. Here are some uh, good information. One block has the address of the previous block, and when a new block is created, it will also be attached to, to the next one. And we we have the identifier and the choice code of the the transaction in this case the vote. Many transactions can be uh, inside a, a block, and the blocks are chained, forming a blockchain. And also for the marker tree, marker tree is one of the one of the most important tree uh, inside this project, because when the user send uh, the trans transactions, we have here so many trans transactions. They, they have some, some details like uh, the, the time that it, it was sent. And we try to hash, hash two, two, two times and form this, this nice tree. Uh, and when it gets the, the, the hash, it will be attached in, in the blockchain. If someone tries to change one of these transactions, then the, the hash will be totally different and the system will reject the, the block. And this is a, a big picture of the blockchain network. Basically, here we have an example of three, three nodes, but in, in, in practice it will be 18 according to the num number of provinces. Here we have the citizens, one, two, uh, we can have many uh, citizens. The IP address corresponds to the province they are. However, there will be a central node which will be responsible to do some back backups uh, and, and make sure that in, in case one, one of them is down, it can recover all, all the information without losing anything. And also we have here the, the committee, which can deploy the smart contract. Smart contract is really important and it's public. Everyone can see how, how the election will, will go and how it will be processed. And of course, they can see the, the results and, and make some requests. These are all the technologies that I, I use. Uh, the most important ones I can mention are React and React Native plus Node.js. Uh, React and React Native was for front-end, Node.js for back-end, 
and of course my best friend Pigma. Pigma was uh, really useful, really useful too for for the design aspect and including this my slide. It was with help of uh, Pigma. The test phase. So uh, I I I combine many, many types of of test testing uh, types. So uh, I use JJ test and VZ test for UI testing and some mocking data. There are uh, about more than 60 endpoints and I tested them with uh, post postman. I created one collection which is uh, attached in, in my test submission. And also I did some white, black and gray box testing and without uh, forgetting the manual testing to test uh, the functionalities of the application uh, inside me. Interesting aspect of my thesis First thing that I think is interesting is the use of blockchain. Then it's full full stack, cross platform. It can run either on iOS and Android. And there is also a, a web part. It contains a delightful use user friendly interface. It has OTP authentication for security. It has AI driven speech, animation, distributed and decentralized because the, the, the block blockchain network gives this and also it uses modern technologies. Now I will show you a, a demo. The first part will be the more mobile part. First of all, I open the application. Uh, I will try to log in, but I will fail then. I will try to re register. I put all the information, electro ID, name, email, address, province, and so on. Once I'm done, I will wait for the committee to accept my my registration is it, there. I open and then I see the, the code corresponding. Uh, and then I add in the Google Authentication. It will be later be used. Now I'm ready. It was approved. I can enter my day, data. Now the application opens. There is a video explaining uh, how it was in 2022. Now these are the candidates. I will open some of these candidates. And my friend uh, John Amadeo, Annette Neto, uh, Janus Araush, and of course me. Uh, I will vote for my friend. However, I, I should get the OTP authentication. I go back to the Google authentication. I put the code. And then the vote is valid, and we can see here some blockchain. And now we can verify if the transaction was, was good by scanning on the web, web part, the vote is, is valid. And this is for the mobile application. Now I will uh, stop for the web part. For the web part, first I enter the URL. I log in with JWT, uh, security behind. These are the candidates I can add. The, the candidates dot the image. And of, of course, we can also uh, and edit a candidate, in this case here, I we can change, but I won't do this. And once I'm done, I have to deploy. If I don't deploy, uh, no, nothing will go to, to the blockchain. These are the vo voters, the dot of voters. I cannot see who voted for because, because of security purpose, and we can generate random IDs for each of them. However, they have relation. These are the population da data. We have here more than uh, 56 cents for testing purpose and we can check the, the state because we will have to accept uh, when they register failing processing uh, then the, uh, the we have also user management these are uh, all the users we can add one one user looking for the if image and that's it these are my sisters uh, this is the, the new user that was added. We can so edit the, the user that was added. It can be admin or no, normal user. This is the blockchain in infrastructure. The first two blocks are the genus block, and we can see here we don't set any vote for them. And at the moment, there are some pending transactions which we can mine with um, that IP. When we mine, the the blocks are updated. I will soon uh, click on mine, so I will mine and then we can we will see that it will change. Now it changes, it added one, one more block and addition, addition, in addition to this, we can also uh, inspect each each block to see the, the detail, but before let's do some search, it can search. 
first we can see the details of each block there are some some nice blocks and if we want to do further studies we can also uh, start this this information there as well data and JSON it's similar to Postman uh, uh, for those who, who use there are some uh, good information which can be later used for advanced studies these are the transactions that are inside that, that block and this is the is the electoral part we can process the, the results and also play and an audio when the election is being announced we can see uh, our first market when the election thank you very much uh, we can generate a, a speech with an ai uh, i will stop the i will stop the audio thank you for gathering here today as we announce the results of this closely watched election last but not least okay then i So challenges. I, I had a friend for days uh, just to choose the technology uh, because I had so many options, but uh, then I ended up choosing type of type script to, to make uh, to make it easier to do the work and more more part. I watched down dozens of courses uh, just to learn the how blockchain works. And also, I tried to implement Rust, but unfortunately, it didn't work that well due to, due to lack of integrations. Uh, also, the decentralized network. Uh, if you could see, I could use Google Maps. Some people can, uh, were trying to avoid because they were asking to pay 200 uh, euro, but I found a way by using GeoMap, which is an alternative. As conclusion, I can say that this project is a revolutionary step forward for our elections uh, and it is the first blockchain in our country with uh, a modern interface. Uh, also for those who are interested in learning blockchain technology, I think my thesis is really recommended. Uh, it, it is really well designed. As future works, uh, I plan to add facial recognition for the for for the security part and also biometric da data. Those advanced information that I showed you later can be used for generate some nice CSV files for machine learning studies. And also, at the moment, I didn't publish, but uh, in future, I, I plan to, to, to do some posting and put mood language. At the moment, it is in English, in my country, speak Portuguese, so I plan to read mood language. And if there are more people interested, they can also use this. So this is an overview of the, the blockchain, web, mobile. And that brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for taking with me. And if there are any questions, I would have to answer. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions?
there the scope would matter. So the policy for or say uh, is st static scoping, uh, which means that it is determined in the compile time. So when we call a, a function, we add this to the stack trace to the other version record, and therefore they cannot interfere each other. Uh, if there wasn't uh, a name or a, a, a variable with set time name, then we shouldn't care. But in, in this case, when we have same, same same name, then we should care. We have to give priority to those that are uh, on, on the stack frame first. Then when they are copied, then we can consider the one at, at the top top level. Also, there are other languages that use dynamic uh, scoping, such as Py Python. So and it can only be determined in the, in the running time. Uh, and also, in case of C. Uh, we determine the scope not only, for instance, on the top level, but al also with uh, with blocks. If, if we have multiple blocks, then what the scope matters is the closest one. Uh, yeah, that's what the scope. Five errors about uh, scope. Lifetime. Okay, li lifetime. So uh, for the lifetime, we have uh, local va va variable. We have global variable and we have static one. So uh, for the local vi variable, uh, we use let's say for instance when, when we call a function, uh, it is put on the stack, and the activation re record allows that it is alive. However, when the function is ended, that variable is destroyed. So after the calling. After the return of the function, the, the lifetime for the local is is uh, done. Now for the global, 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 we usually place at the top level, and it exists throughout the running of the program. Once the program is finished, then it is destroyed. And lastly, we have static uh, scope, in this case variables. Uh, in this case, for the, it exists throughout the entire program, however, the scope is limited when, where it was declared. Very good. Uh, now, what happens if I need to create a new memory uh, inside the function, but I want to keep that memory live after I leave the function, after I return the function? What option do I have? So, Pete uh, Felipe talked about dynamic me memory, which is if uh, so, to create heap, there are many ways. In C++, we can use uh, new, but in case of C, uh, we, we can use some special fun functions, such as malloc, realloc, or catalog. And of course, uh, after the return, we should not forget to, to we have to avoid mem memory by using uh, free or delete keyword. Yes, uh, in some programming languages, there is an other solution to avoid memory use. In Java, in C sharp. Well, uh, in in Java and C, C sharp, the point of the me that dynamic memory is not really explicitly used. However, uh, the, the, the when the destructor is Call it, it automatically be destroyed and the that, that was copper letter built for uh, the Thank you very much. Thank you. And now it's time to leave.